This video is going to show you how to add a raised porch to your model in Floor Planner. So this is an existing model I have. Uh, each surface is a separate surface around my topography, which was covered in a prior video. And now if you look, I have this area right here where I would like to have just a porch that's elevated, say, one step off the ground. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to draw two walls. Uh, and I do want them to have a thickness. It doesn't really matter how thick they are. And I don't want them to go the whole way up. I want them to be about the height of one step. So let's make it, say, eight inches. And I'm just going to draw. Well, I'm not sure why that just clicked off. There we go. Remember, use your space bar if you want to. And that just got rid of that room, so I'm going to try this again. And if it's not connecting to the other walls nicely for you, like it's sort of fighting me, you can also I can give you a tip to fix this. Because what happens is if you don't connect them, then you won't get a room in here. But basically what we're doing is we're just creating a little fake boundary that's going to be below our porch so that we have walls and the porch isn't literally floating. So I am sort of struggling here to get this to line up. So what I'm going to do is draw four or two more walls so that I have a bounded four wall area. I don't want it to snap to my existing exterior walls. There are many ways to do this problem. Um, it's just one that I found I like. And don't forget, like I just did, you can hit S to get it to not snap. And it honestly doesn't matter too much if it's not completely straight because you're not going to see that anyway. So I'm going to go to my 3D view and make sure that this looks okay. And now you'll see I have a short little wall section here and I have a floor below it. doesn't really make sense, but what we're going to do, um, first I'm going to click on this room, go to settings and make sure I don't have a ceiling generator because I don't want that to show up in my 3D view. And let's also give some material I want it to be my clapboard down here, so it looks like the rest of my house. You could actually let's make it maybe more of a stone surface on the side of your porch. This is completely up to you what material you want to put on here. I just want you to see that you can do this. And this is why I gave it a wall here so that I could give it a surface material. Um, okay. Now, well, the next thing you're going to want to do is come back to the building area and say draw surface. Now, you're going to want to raise it from floor the same height as what your walls were. So my walls were 8 inches, so I'm going to raise it 8 inches from the ground. And I'm going to come in and click. Here's where you can make sure you click on the wall, your, your true exterior walls. And you have to click all the points. And again, if you don't like that it's not going exactly where you want, you can hit the S key. And there's my surface. I hit escape to get out of that, by the way. Material. I'm going to give it what might look good on a porch. So let's just say wood planks. I would rather them have rotated the other way. So it's always good to pay attention to that. Think about how your porch would be built. And now let's look at the 3D view. Now, that, that rock, you might want to change the scale of it or change the appearance. This isn't an exact exactly what I wanted for the appearance, but this gives you an impression of what you can do with this. Uh, I also don't like that you look in here. It looks like the rock of the porch is actually inside the wall of the house. So that's something you can change by nudging those walls around. The last thing you might want to do is raise the height of this door up off of the so that it, the bottom of the door is even with the bottom of the porch surface. So you can say raise from floor right here, and this would be the same as the height of our porch, so eight inches. 
And this is where it looks like it's going into the house. Actually, maybe it's just because it was jutting over. So this is the kind of thing you could go in and fix. Now, you want to make sure you get your surface to be um, just above the wall, the height of the wall. So make sure that your surface is, is set to be at the same height as your walls, because otherwise that black that you see right now is actually going to show up if your surface is not there. So the top of all walls and floor planners show up as black. So that's why you need to make sure you get your surface over that. And that's it. You could add other features such as a railing and so on, but I wanted you to see how to at least create an elevated porch. You could also add a couple steps if your porch is high enough using the same method. That's it for now.